Hello my darlings. Happy Tuesday to all of you and welcome back once again to Let's Build the World. And welcome to the final ever part of Trewarren Farm. We have got a bedroom to furnish, well two bedrooms to furnish. All right, tea kettle. For goodness sake. Blue is joining us in the background there. He's one of these dogs that likes to push his cushion out of his bed and then lay on the floor but but in the bed does anybody else's dog do anything weird like that he's just a very strange boy but he's very beautiful so i'm gonna let him off yes i am so that's what we're gonna do today two bedrooms get this complete and then we'll have a little walk through tour of the whole farm as well uh this week on the channel i'm gonna be renovating another one of my older builds that's probably coming on wednesday perhaps I am also bringing out another part of Copper Mine Apartments with some couple, well, of a, with a couple of new Sims moving in that I'm going to be making on Twitch tonight. So if you do want to join us creating the next two characters for Let's Build the World, I'm going to be live at 7 p.m. But if you can't make it, don't worry. You can also watch the video back on Twitch. I will link it in the video when that comes out tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow! Yes! And then I've got a speed build coming this week as well. So one more thing. Um, I'm going away on holiday. I'm having my first ever vacation holiday in three years from the 5th of September until the 15th. So I will be getting a couple videos out a week while I am away. So I'm going to pre-record a few bits, but there won't be as much content as usual until I get back, which is going to be the week commencing the, the 19th. So on Tuesday the 20th, content will resume as normal i just need a nice vacation away from everything um just to have a nice big reset so that's happening and i can't wait i haven't been on a plane in bloody years and i hate flying so if anybody's got any flying anxiety trip um tricks they can let me know um then please do because um i hate flying so much i do anyway waffled on enough haven't i so let's get on over and let's complete trewarren farm all right then my beauties here we are back final ever time with true iron farm i've had so much fun building this like bigger lot i like sometimes with bigger lots i'm like halfway through and i'm like oh i just want this to be over but with this one i've had an absolute blast um excuse you where is the door gone here how fucking very dare to be honest no you shall not move you will stay i don't know how that got deleted very strange Good job I noticed that. I mean, it's probably hard not to notice that because it was absolutely massive. But um, yes, anyway, what have I done off of camera? I have finished off the little farm shop. Still didn't put as much produce up as I wanted. Um, but you guys can do that. You guys can fully stock that. I mean, we've got enough there. Um, I've just put some details and stuff around, some um, menus and whatnot. And I've also put some baskets here for when they do do their little um farm shop moment absolutely for it what else did i do i finished just putting in a few more details into this hallway here and um, furnished this toilet downstairs as well i also completed the like main landing here and also the spare bedroom the spare bedroom um doing it in this kind of like little farmhouse style i'm hoping the sims can walk through that they should be able to but I'm just looking at it thinking mm, that looks very narrow. Um, but we're going to go for it anyway. And we, oh, I finished furnishing the main family bathroom as well. So it's got everything that they would need. Um, and these are the last two rooms that we're going to be doing together. So we've got Aiden and Leslie's room here, which is going to be obviously the master bedroom. And then we've got Lil's bedroom here, which um, she's a kid. I reckon she's around about maybe 11, 12. I'm going to say her age is... So she's just getting into kind of pre-teen moment. She's finding out who she is. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to give her... I reckon she looks up to her brother quite a lot. So I reckon she's probably got a lot of the same interests as him. They are really close. Uh, so I'm going to go down that route. I have a bunk bed with a desk and stuff in it. Um, and the master suite, I'm just going to make it like a lovely little farmhouse um bedroom that's what we're gonna do and i'm gonna try and just keep it neutral i'm gonna use the same curtains in here as well um so we're gonna make a start on this room first i think wondering if this room could be big enough or is big enough to get a fireplace in i could get rid of one of the windows um and get a fireplace in i mean i know the chimney bust is over this side 
Um, nowhere near where a fire... Oh, I should have put a fireplace in the dining room as well. There's not enough room in there. There is not enough room in there. Um, so I am. I'm going to try and get a fireplace in here, I think. So I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to get rid of... Do I want to get rid of that window? I could... Or I could get rid of this window. Where would the bed go then, though? The bed's going to go on this wall. Um... If I put the bed there, the fireplace would look great on that side. We're going to do that. We're going to get rid of this window here. Um, does that make it look too weird over this side? I might just see if we can just flop a little bit more ivy up. Um, just so it doesn't look too bare. Bare. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. Hello, uh, by the way. How was your weekend? So I hope you had a lovely weekend, my darlings. I had a fantastic weekend. Um, I can hardly lift my arms because my personal trainer absolutely battered me in the gym yesterday. So thank you very much for that. <laughs> I, I'm struggling to hold my phone. <laughs> struggling to send a message on my phone. I'm like, oh, that's heavy. I've got a pint of water here. And um, I'm like, oh, oh, God, that's heavy, that. <laughs> <laughs> so my arms are of no use today but you watch it there will be a gun show happening <laughs> in, in about a year probably to be honest <laughs> but i'm looking forward to it i very much am very much i'm looking forward to being a muscly adonis so oh i do like that bed i do love this bed i think this bed would look great in this room but i'm unsure about that color choice so let's have a little whiffle through I cannot bear some of the swatches that get... Look at the state of that. Who the fuck invited you, love? For goodness sake. Get famous court and they want their swatches back. That's all I'm saying. Oh, God. It makes you sick, doesn't it? <laughs> makes you sick. I don't hate that in here, actually. I'm going to do it. We're going to do that. We're going to flop you to maybe around about there. We're going to get the fireplace in. I think I'm going to go for one of the old stone um, cottage living ones, to be honest. I mean, oh, I could even put a wood burner in here. That could look quite nice. Um, I probably want to go slightly warmer with it. Oh, there we go. I'm feeling it, but I'm just wondering. Hmm, I think I'm going to go for the stone. Oh, excuse you. I'm going to go for the stone one, I think. That colour's not too bad because it kind of brings a bit of the lightness in. But I think I just want it a little bit warmer. That's that's even lighter. So, love the swatches um, on these fireplaces. I think they're great. I really do. They're just the right amount of difference. I kind of like that one. I do. I know it's lighter than the one that we had. It's just a different tone. I think the wood works better with it. That's why I'm going to go for that one. Now that I've put that in, I am going to move the bed. I'm going to move the bed over this way a little bit more. Stunning. And let's get in some side tables. I think I'm going to nick those side tables from the spare bedroom, wherever you are, my love. Because I reckon that could kind of work in here. Oh, it doesn't really work with a bed. But I'm going to look past the wood tones. And we're going to just flop them in. Because I just think that bed looks great in here. Um... um Hmm. Hmm. Let me have a look for something else, I think. We're going to go for these ones. Ye old faithful. Love these side tables. I just think that wood just sits in a little bit better. Even though, as I said, we're not going to be too precious about matching woods in here. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of into that. I'm thinking over here, maybe a chair? Oh, no. I'm going to put a chair in this corner. I'm going to put a plant in this corner. Let's do that. Let's flop a plant in. Um, we'll get some lights going on the um, the side tables as well. Yes, we will indeed. Yes, we will. Um, let me find the lamps first, actually, before I get a plant. We'll go for those base game lamps. I think they just match in with the colour quite nicely. Um, and I'm going to put in this little throw basket over here, just in case it gets chilly of a night in the farmhouse. Um, I'm going to flop the plant there as well. Yeah, that's nice. Nice little corner. I'm thinking of adding a couple of sconces in here as well, just to lighten up these areas, because it is a little bit dark. Let's bring you up a touch more, my love, to there. I'll do another one there as well. That just brings in a bit of lightness over into that area, doesn't it? Oh, beautiful. Yes. Now, chair, I'm thinking, maybe this one. 
in that colour as well, because that's going to match in quite nicely too. Oh, we're going for a green vibe by the looks of things, loves. And do you know what? My favourite colour is green. What's yours? I love hearing. Green has always been my favourite colour. Love a bit of green. Do love a bit of green. And I love a bit of pink as well. Pink is one of my favourite. It's got to be a good shade of pink though. Like a vintage rose, you know? Like a vintage rose or like a dusky baby pink. Love that. Especially with a green. Oh! All right, Agnes, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, that window is gone. Not happening, my love. I'm going to do two wardrobes on this side. I don't know what wardrobes I could put in. Um, maybe the ones for... Oh, I could even mix it up a bit and go for a bit more of like a... This kind of vibe. Probably in the darker. Yeah, but in fact, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put one of you and I'm going to put a wardrobe in. But wardrobe-wise, we're just so bloody limited on wardrobes. I find them all, like, well, to be honest with you, shit. But, um, no, that's not going to fit the the brief. What about you? Uh, no, not feeling that either. These are the ones that I had in my head. Oh, do you know what? That looks quite nice in here. I know it's a completely different wood tone, but as I said, we're not being too precious about it. <sighs> we do need a wardrobe though, so maybe even one of these. Uh, can we have one without the gold? Gold! Yes, I think maybe this one. Again, antique vibes, you know? Yeah, we're going to go for that one. We're going to go for this one. We're going to flop you to there. Now, I don't think Leslie is a makeup kind of gal, so I'm not going to do any kind of like makeup table or anything, but we do need to find something to fill that space. Um, and at the minute, I don't really know what we can put there. Maybe a hall table, we could. Move this in a little bit more there. Same with you. And put in a hall table. Or even like a bench. A bench could look nice. Let's try and find one of those. There we go. Rather than a bench, what I've done. Mirror, shoe rack, and dry flowers. Another sconce over here as well. And I've put a clock in this space here. And I've actually moved this bench here um, right up against the bed. I just think that will be a vibe, to be honest. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I think what I need down here is maybe um, like a, a side table. I know this isn't a side table. I just always use this as a side table. Um, just in case you want to do a little bit of reading or something. I might even put like a little cheeky candle on top of there. Um, <laughs> not a lantern. Not really a lot. Yeah, maybe something like this. I wish we just had some nice candles, you know? No, you're not going to go. <sighs> not that. I think that of a vibe that I was um, thinking about this one. Yeah, I think this one here. Let's hope that we don't have to play around with the tool mod. Oh, that's fine. Just flop that in the corner. A little scented candle. Wood and musk is what that smells like. And I've also put a rug out as well. I got a rug out too. I'm happy with how that room looks. I think that just feels like a lovely big farmhouse master bedroom with just fairy and furniture. But it, to me, it looks cohesive. So that's what I like. Stunning. Okay. Well, we're going to move on to um, Lilsa's bedroom now. So let me just pull out an array of beautiful things that I think would um, match him with her personality. And then we'll start flopping it about together, loves. So I've pulled out a variety of objects for Lil's. Um, I think that with this bunk bed, the one from the werewolf pack, very handmade. I reckon when Sam made his desk, remember I said he made his own desk? I reckon he wanted to surprise Lil's with a bunk bed because she's always wanted one. And she absolutely loves it. Um, and yeah, storyline, you know? So my thoughts were with this room, lots of hand-me-downs. I reckon... Um, Sam always gave like Lil's old, his old computer, his old TV that he had, his old um, console, all of that kind of good vibes. And I think you guys out there that have siblings will know you get hand-me-downs. I got hand-me-downs um, when I was younger and I used to vibe with them. I used to absolutely fucking vibe with them, love. So that's what we're going to do. Yes, we are. I think I might give Lil's a little... A little one of these numbers. 
They don't really like light up any different colour though. I think I have to do that this way. If you're wondering how I'm doing this in um build mode, it's with the better build and buy mod or the tool mod, one of them. Not sure. Yeah, that should be fine. Um, and I think what I want is maybe something from high school years here. Um just a little bit of clutter. A little bit of clutter, if you will. Sorry, I hiccuped then. Or even like a little crafty bit. That could be cute. Mm, not really feeling that, to be honest. I think maybe the cubby would be better. Yeah, that one there. Oh, I'm for that. Yes, absolutely for it. For it, I am. I'm going to flop you to here. We're going to put on the old TV there. Getting another little bean bag, bean bag chair. Love a bean bag chair. I was in a bean bag chair all Saturday evening um, with my friend on their farm. And it was, it was lovely. Just sat around a fire pit and watched all of the UFOs. And I'm not joking. There were lots of unidentified flying objects. Um, I think I've spoken about this before. But yeah, things that cannot be explained as well, loves. Honestly, like just the way that they were moving in the sky. They were not any kind of like drone or I don't know what it was. And it freaked me out, but it also made me feel very excited. <laughs> Does anybody get like that? When you get scared, you get that excited scared. Because I know I do. <laughs> no point, no. Maybe just one. There we go. That'll do. And if it's floating, then it can stay floating. Little kitty cat radio there. Um... Let's flop you in a bit of a better position. In fact, let's put the wardrobes in first. So I'm going to flop in the wardrobe onto this side. Pull your right back so you're up against the wall, my love. Bring you to here. Lils' favourite colour is green, just like myself. Um, so that's why we're littering the place up with a little bit of green. Maybe someone she's got a bit of a crush on, a pop star. Photos of all of her and her friends. Uh, where am I going to put this toy box? Oh, do you know what? That toy box will fit perfect right next to here. And I think we need a rug just to finish this room rather deliciously. Delicious. Let's flop you right in there, my love. Just so we're lovely. Oh, great bit of space in there. That chair is like popping out very green. So I don't know if we have to change that. I don't know if it's a bit much. Um, Even just go for like a grey one. Again, maybe one, maybe... um. This was Sam's old PC chair before he treated himself to a proper gaming one. But that's what Lils wants for Christmas, a proper gaming chair. She told me. She did in indeed to um, tell me. Um, let's have a look at what you've got to offer us. Oh, yeah, you're the cute one. Um, I think this is all going to be a bit too much for this room, to be honest. I mean, that one's quite nice. Mm, no, I just think it needs to be an old rug, to be honest with you. What do you look like? Oh, you're very small. Let me find a rug. We'll go for that one. That one there from Outdoor Retreat. I've just sized it up using the tool mod. 1.3 if you were wondering. Um, I think this is perfect for her. Perfect for her room. I'm going to say that she's a little bit more tidier than what Sam is. And, she, and that's just because she has. she's that young. She hasn't accumulated enough stuff to be messy just yet. Guys, we're done. We are done. What is glitching out there? Oh, it's that bloody shower. It's fine when you go into it, though, so that I'm not going to be too bothered about that. <gasps> Look at you. We're getting two frames a second, but I'm going to give us a tour, loves. We're going to go in through the entrance. So it, just don't pay attention to any of this. As we said, that was when the manor house um, was on this land, um, and they just left it there. So main farmhouse. We'll have a look inside that in a minute. We're going to go for a walk through the farm first. So obviously around through this way, we've got the farm shop right near the entrance. So all the patrons can just come in, shop to their hearts drop. Is that right? Nope. <laughs> oh, look at the cows poking out. Cheeky little cows poking out. This is the cow pasture. Where's my shit gone? Ah, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what found a faithful pet companion? What could be inside? I don't... No, we're going to delete them. I reckon it was those cheeky rabbits. We need to put that mud back. One sec. There we go. I've popped it back down. Um, the mosquitoes look like the flies around this in live mode look absolutely great, by the way, in case you were wondering. They are going around and they are absolutely gifting us dirt. Fuming about it. Yes, I am. 
So this is the main kind of animal barn area. Obviously, we've got these three little lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, I didn't do too much in here, actually. I did a bit of this off of camera as well. I've just put some hay down for the, when they eat. And we left some troughs there with some water in. I need to get rid of those um, baths, by the way. But I probably won't. They're here to stay. And this is like the little storage area as well, where they probably got all their feed and stuff. Um, kind of vibing with that. And then over on this side is the hay barn itself. Um, I'm wondering whether to close that ceiling off or just leave it open. I'm just going to leave it open. It's fine. It's fine. So out of the cow pasture, let's go down this way. Walk past the main farmhouse. Um, we've got a... Oh, I've done some more stuff that I didn't show you as well. So the courtyard, I've made into a clothes drying area. Because I have also done a little utility room down in the basement so they can wash their clothes um and i moved the clothes line from the other side of the farmhouse into this courtyard area it just works a lot better um gorgeous gorgeous things now we are going to go into the barn so this is the barn the storage barn but also um it's got the juice fizzing station down here as well so this is where they make all of their bits to sell and whatnot and then we've got the family hangout space on top of the mezzanine level up here. So we've got the bar area with lots of goodies and stuff. Keep them all occupied for movie nights and darts. Um, vibing with that, loves. Absolutely vibing. Let's get back down, please. Can we go a bit faster? Thank you. Um, we can go out this way. We'll go out this way first. Um, into just... A, it's just the backyard area of the barn, really, where I can imagine, like, stuff is stored when they get it delivered and whatnot. Um, feed, fertilizer, all of that good stuff. One of the crop fields, various stuff in there, blueberries, bell peppers, the lot. Um, over into this side, which is on the other side of the barn. Again, just like a storage area um, with old machinery and stuff. I reckon that tractor still works and I reckon they do use it. Um, this opens out onto the main courtyard area over here. Stunning. And then over this way, this is the meadow. So the cherry trees have flopped down to dirt piles for some reason. Um... So I'm just going to keep it like that. We've got some bees. We've got some honey making facilities there. Um, and a little family um, picnic area too. Now over to this way. More crop fields. This is where all of the bigger crops get grown. We've got another one going on there as well. Stunning. We're going to do a loop-de-loo. -loo. Another little crop field. Lettuces, if you were wondering. Um, around to the main courtyard. So this is obviously the granny cottage that we furnished together. Beautiful. Stunning. And this is the Airbnb barn here. So this is where they rent out this self-contained little um, room with a gorgeous view. What is that outside? Oh, how dare they? Very, very fuming about that. Um, so yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely things. Um, I'd love to stay in this place. I'd be absolutely made up. Got its own bathroom as well. And then I'm going to come around out this way. Loop-de-loo around here. And this is where the commercial kitchen is. So I also left this here to make treats for the sick animals that come to this lot. Um, this is the commercial, ki commercial kitchen where they do all their baking, their canning, everything. This has got a back, extra, a back exit as well um, where they can put their rubbish and stuff out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good. Um, we're going to go down this way. We're going to go past the barn. I mean, the the granny cottage to the back garden of the granny cottage. Gorgeous. We've got the chicken pen here too. So this is where all the chickens are. Bloody gorgeous. Feeling it. Vibing. Um, we've got some more cherry trees going up here. A little grove into what is a huge greenhouse as well, where you can grow all of your bits and bobs, whatever season it is. And it has got a little exit here where there has been an accident and they just haven't cleaned it up yet bless them so inside we'll go into the granny cottage first we'll go around to the front oh in we come into the living area beautiful little granny cottage here um where's the kitchen oh there's the door <laughs> where's the kitchen into a kitchen lovely jubbly obviously they don't have a dining space in here but they have one outside but they tend to all eat their meal together in the main farmhouse itself a little utility room complete with a fridge. Um, come around to this side. Sorry if I'm making you feel dizzy, but I can't help that. Um, 
little cheeky landing going on here. I think this is the main bedroom. Yep, the main bedroom in the little granny cottage. Loving the vibes of it in there. And then they have got their own bathroom here as well. Beautiful. So for the final tour, um, let's tour the farmhouse. So farmhouse, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's got its own little backyard as well with some swings and a shed too. That's just got various bits in. Um, that sheds normally do storage, just random objects, holiday things, bikes, you know, all of that good jazz. Good jazz, good stuff, good jazz, great, good soup. <laughs> into the main farmhouse itself, so into the main living area. Loving the vibes of it in here, just feels lived in. Um, little desk with a computer there. Round to this side, I think this is the toilet. Lovely, beautiful. Off to the left, off to, off to the right, sorry, is the um, farmhouse dining room and also the farmhouse kitchen, which is a lovely big size with access out onto that courtyard. Um, so they can go and wash their little bits and bobs. But there's also access out here as well to the garden. And I think, yeah, just out the front then there's an ac obviously access out that way too. Upstairs we go. So up into the landing. We've got four bedrooms in this big farmhouse. We're going to start off with Sam's. The Sam's teen angst bedroom. Feeling the vibes. Smells of balls. Um, uh, the spare bedroom. In case any guests stay over. Or in case Iris gets a bit tipsy and she can't walk back to the granny cottage. Uh, the main bedroom. The main master suite that we vanished together just a moment ago that door is glitching out how dare it um the main family bathroom as well beautiful and also what we've just finished with lil's child bedroom stunning uh, oh i'm for it very much for it i've had so much fun building this lot i really have let's get some lovely lighting oh there we go I need to try and get a a thumbnail that's quite a nice little angle actually so there we have it, my loves. Trewaran Farm is complete. I will get this up on the gallery for you guys to go and download and enjoy. Have fun playing in this because I've really had a lot of fun playing in this in live mode. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this whole expedition. I will be back tomorrow with some more Let's Build the Worlds and introducing you to some new people moving into Copper Mine Apartments. I'm also live on Twitch tonight, 7pm, creating those people in the sims to move in so if you want to join us then do but if not as always i'll see you tomorrow goodbye